Hi guys, it's Gav here from DanceFanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my predictions for day three of the World's Dance Championship from the Alley Pally. It has been absolutely brilliant so far. Today has two sessions. It has a session from 12.30 and also um, another session in the evening from 7pm. Each of the sessions have four matches in. Uh, it has three first round matches and one second round match. For those of you that haven't been able to see the world yet and want to know a little bit more about it, I did cover a video with a schedule, the prize money, everything that you need to know. Um, so please do check it out at the end of the video. And for those of you that have seen my prediction videos, you will know not to um, bet on them because my predictions are absolutely rubbish and many of you are doing much better. Thanks to all of you that have taken uh, part so far. Let's have a look at the um, afternoon session as you can see here. Starts off with Richard North against Robert, um, I can't say his surname, I apologise. We've then got Mickey Mansell against Jim Long, Josh Payne against Jeff Smith and then the second round match we've got the Maximizer Max Hop against Danny Knopper. In the evening we've got Tony Alcinas against Craig Ross, Ryan Searle against Stephen Burton, Keegan Brown against Carol Salazar. Sorry about that one as well. And uh, Michael Van Gerwen against Alan Tavern in a second round match. So let's go through them and see what I think. First up, we've got Richard North against Robert. Northy, world number 39 at the moment. Uh, Robert is the world uh, number 95. This year, Northy has got to the semi final of the European Darts Open and also reached a last 16 European Championship. Uh, Robert qualified for being the German Super League champion. I think this is going to be a good game. I was lucky enough to interview Northy. I think that um, he's going to have the better of Robert in this one. Um, I think he's got more experience on the big stage. Um, he's had a good year. Um, and I think that he's going to beat Robert three sets to one. Next up, we've got Mickey Mansell against Jim Long, the Canadian player. This year, Mickey Mansell had the outstanding win in the Players' Championship 8 at Barnsley. I think he only dropped something like 11 legs in the whole match. Absolutely come from nowhere. Um, we know he's got the, the game on the day. Um, Jim Long is the CDC top ranked Canadian player, which made him qualify uh, for the PDC World Dance Championships. Being honest, I don't know much about him. He's obviously a half-decent player. Um, the Canadians have got some great players, haven't they? Dawson Michelle coming through. Um, who else? We've got obviously John Park, the legend. But I think that Mickey Mantle's going to have a little bit more um, experience than what Jim has. Like I say, don't know much about him. And I'm going for Mickey Mantle to win that one 3-2. Next up, we've got Josh Payne against Jeff Smith. Um, Jeff Smith, another Canadian. Um, Josh Payne, world number 53. Uh, this year got to the last 16 at the Grand Slam of Darts. Jeff Smith, the silencer. Um, the North American Championship winner is how he got into the Worlds this year. Um, great player. Um, he was in the Worlds for the first time last year. But I think Josh Payne is going to... Um, have, he's going to be up for this and he's going to want to do well and like I say he did well in the Grand Slam to get to the last 16 I think that he's going to have the beating of Jeff Smith and send him packing back to Canada and beat him 3-1 uh, last game of this session second round match we've got the Maximizer match up against Danny Nopper the Maximizer world number 32 Nopper the world number 47 obviously he had to come for a round one match to get this um, with against Max Hop. He, um, he beat Royd and Lamb um, he went. He lost the first leg and then won the next nine. I think that Danny Noppert's looking really good at the minute. Uh, Max Hopp, great year for him. Won the German Open in front of his own crowd, home crowd. Uh, unbelievable it was. Also got to the semi-final of the European Championship Finals. However, I am going to be backing against Max Hopp in this one. And I think that Danny Noppert is um, on fire at the moment. Although Max has done well. And I think this is going to be an absolute cracker. But I'm going for Danny Nopper um, to beat Max Hop 3-2. Uh, next up, we go into the evening session. Um, first up, as you can see here, we've got Tony Alcinas against Craig Ross from New Zealand. Uh, Tony Alcinas, the Al Data, Data Tour is his name, world number 55. A um, couple of years ago, got to the last 16 of the World's Dark Championship. Uh, Craig Ross come through in the international qualifiers. 
Again, I know very little about him, so I can't judge him. I do think that Tony um, is going to have the better of Craig in this one. And because I don't know a huge amount about Craig, I've gone uh, for the Al Data Tour to win 3 0. Next up, as you can see there, we've got Ryan Searle against Stephen Burton. Well, uh, Stephen Burton is an actual local guy uh, to where I live. Um, Ryan Searle at the moment, uh, world number 61, I think he's moving in the right direction, he's getting more and more TV time, his confidence is growing, he was unlucky not to beat Gurney um, recently in, in the last tournament and he actually had darts to win it. Uh, Stephen Bar Burton, absolutely fantastic, got to the last 16 of the Players' Championship Finals, part of a great performance against MVG, didn't seem phased, was chewing on his gum, full of confidence, absolutely loving the game, I think this is going to be a cracker. But I'm going for Ryan Searle uh, to beat Stephen Burton 3-2. Uh, next up, we have got Keegan Brown, the needle against Carol Searle. I can't say the name, I apologise. The needle at the moment, world number 40. Uh, Carol is the Czech Republic. Um, he got through from winning the Czech Open. His world number 180 at the moment. Keegan Brown got to the last 16 of the Worlds a couple of years ago and also got to the last 32 in the Players' Championship Finals. Big fan of Keegan Brown, think he's going to have a good Worlds, and I think that he's going to put Carroll aside and win 3-1. Uh, next up, we have the last uh, session of the day, and it is Michael uh, Van Gerwen against the same Alan Tavern. It's absolutely fantastic to have him um, back. We all know how good a player he is. MVG, obviously two-time world champion, world number one, won the 2018 Premier League, won the World Grand Prix, the World Cup of Darts, the Auckland Masters, has won the European and the Players' Championships this year. Uh, had not had as good a year as he's like. Uh, Gary Anderson stood in his run a number of occasions, as did Gareth Gurney in the most recent tournament. Uh, Alan the Saint, what a great player he was, been to the semi-final of the UK Open in 2006 and made quarter-finals of the Worlds in 2008 and the match play quarter-finals in 2007. Come through his game um, to get this line up against Michael Van Gerwen, but MVG is going to be rampant and he's going to have far too much for the same um, and I think that I'm going to go for an MVG uh, to win three sets to nil. So they're my predictions for day three uh, from the Alley Pally, like I say, Saturday the 15th of December. Let me know what your predictions are. For those of you that do like a flutter, don't forget to check out Aces Acker, www.acesacker.co.uk. Also check me and Chris out on Patreon. We've got a really cool page. You can hang out with us, loads of benefits. The link's gonna be below. I look forward to your predictions. Hope you enjoy your Saturday and I'll catch you on day four with more predictions. Bye.